I'm here to talk to you today about fluorescein angiography. Fluorescein angiography has been around since 1961, and it is the method by which we at Island Retina look for circulation problems which may be taking place inside your eye. For the fluorescein angiography procedure, you will be dilated. I want to just go over a few brief steps that will take place during your fluorescein angiogram. Dye is introduced intravenously into the body. Only a small amount is used, approximately three cc's. We use a very small butterfly needle in order to perform the procedure and the dye is introduced into the body in a hand vein or lower forearm vein. The dye is necessary to be introduced into the body so that we can look for disease inside the eye. Over here is what is referred to as a fundus camera. The fundus camera will take the flash photographs which we will utilize to see whether or not your eye has disease. You will be positioned in this area as the patient with your chin here and your forehead here. This is the camera flash, which I'm gonna to demonstrate to you next. Photographs are taken while I'm viewing your eye from this side of the camera. The flash looks like this. We will photograph you at one minute, at three minutes, and at six minutes. And now I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like. This is the finished product of a fluorescein angiogram. As you can see, there's early stages of leakage which take place in this eye that has active disease. These are the things that we look for when we shoot a fluorescein angiogram at Island Retina.